His power level's over 9,000. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Classic Gamer Bobby. And today for Retro Fight Night, I've got a good one for you guys. It's a fan-made game. Yes, I'm bringing you another fan-made game. Uh, it's actually called Hyper Dragon Ball Z. Um, it's going to be in the same vein that uh, Capcom fighters are. So like old school, like uh, Capcom fighters, like the Street Fighter Alpha series. Or like the Marvel vs. series kind of plays like that. So we're going to give it a quick look, check it out, see how it plays. Uh, I've only played it a few times, so um, I'm not really great at it. But we're going to see how we do. So let's check it out. Dragon Ball Z. Alright guys, so this is Hyper Dragon Ball Z. This is actually a PC game, by the way. Um, it is a fan-made uh, fighting game. Uh, you might remember previously we did an episode on Mortal Kombat, and the version of Mortal Kombat that we did was a fan-made game. Um, so it's actually using the same uh, fighting engine, so we're, uh, it's a Mugen-based fighting game. Uh, Mugen, of course, being the piece of software that they use to actually build uh, said fighting game. Um, and you might remember me mentioning that it's uh, kind of in the vein of a classic Capcom fighter, uh, as you can tell by the sprite work and the way it's kind of playing. It does play like a Street Fighter slash Marvel Versus game. Um, and it was created by uh, Hyper Team Z. Um, one, it was uh, it was either one or a couple of guys made this game from the ground up. Now this game caught a lot of traction back in 2016. Uh, I believe they had a playable build of this at EVO. Uh, and EVO, of course, being like the biggest fighting game tournament of the year. Uh, it's always either held in uh, Las Vegas or somewhere in California. Um, and the thing is, they were, they were hosting tournaments for this game. Um, and like I said, this is a free-to-download, uh, free-to-play game. This isn't distributed or developed by any certain big video game corporation. Again, this is a fan-made game. Uh, I've played it a couple of times. Uh, I've played earlier builds of this. Uh, it plays great. Uh, this is version 4.26. Uh, so we are going to hop in the arcade mode real quick. And if you notice, uh, we have, what, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15... Uh, we have 16 characters that you can play as, two of which aren't selectable. The so Perfect Cell, if you see him down at the bottom right there, he's not selectable because that character is still in development by the team. Now, I downloaded the Krillin character, which you see in the uh, top left there, um, and I tried to install him, but he didn't work. Uh, I did, however, download Android uh, 18. I got her to work. Um, and the other character, you can't see him on the screen, if I click over, it's, uh, an alternate version of Gohan. So we have Adult Gohan, and then you have Super Saiyan Teen Gohan. Um, so, uh, like I said, I don't have any particular fighter I'm really good with. So, let's just go with Super Saiyan Goku. Try him out. Going up against Tension Hun. Or as we in America call him, Tien. Got Chiaotzu with him. Check him out. All right. So. Okay. Okay. Come here, dude. Blocking a lot, I see. Ooh, there we go. Got a combo on him. This game is combo heavy. It's pretty simple combos too. Um, they're pretty much just chain combo, so light punch, mini punch, heavy punch, heavy punch. Uh, you can uh, power up your character by holding medium punch and medium kick. Back to block. Pretty basic stuff. Um, 
Let's see, he's got teleport, yeah. There's no combo breakers or anything like that, though. I mean, oh, what? Chat, see what you hit me with. Got him. All right. This game's really fun, and the controls are amazingly tight. Uh, King Kai. Nice. Um, and like I said, the control is really, really, really tight. I love it. Uh, to be a fan-made game, it's actually quite amazing. Uh, there's also OTGs. Um, pretty much everything you would really want in a fighting game. It's in here. Now, I've seen some top uh, top level players play this game as well. Uh, it can get really nutty. You also have dashing, air dashing, because it wouldn't be a Super Saiyan game, or a uh, Dragon Ball game, uh, if not. All right, so, all right, child, so you're pissing me off. Get him. Oh, I got him. Got him. Oh, you got me? Man, that's the thing about the computer, uh, or the AI in this game. They love to block. They love to block. They really took their time on this. Like I said, this game has been in development for at least five or so years. Oh, uh, look at the dragon in the back. Dragon, dragon, fight dragon. Dragon, ball Z. What? She just pimp slapped me. Like a Help me, lady. To me, this feels like one of those games that is easy to learn, or easy to pick up and play, but difficult to master. Alright, go okay, wait a minute. Now I'm confused. You don't want to teleport? Or is that only when you have meter? Yeah, it uses meter. You gotta pay attention to what does what, because some things will use meter like crazy. counters, I forgot. I can't remember how to do them though, it's like an alpha counter. I think it's like forward and if she punches you gotta punch, if she kicks you gotta kick, something like that. Oh man. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to teleport. Charge, charge, charge. Block. Get away! Doing the wrong button combination. Oh, crack! 
Shatter the Earth, man. Check that out. Gotcha, bitch. Look at this. Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> what is that? Like, you can't catch me. Come here, man. Golly, will you die? Now, she is a downloadable character. She doesn't come with the base game, so I'm thinking she might be... Uh, glitched in a way because I had way better luck with tension on this is ridiculous Look, I mean like only way I can do damage is like if I walk up to her and throw her See? Only way I can do damage. And then she'll jump. This is weird. I mean, it's... Finally! Wow! What did that fight take? Like, 10 minutes? Whew. Man, that wore me out. <laughs> uh, Alright. Armor? Wait, what? Who is this guy? I just one-shotted that guy. I'll oh, check this out. <laughs> what? I gotta fight a tank? Oh, he's... It's the farmer! Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. What? What, what is going on here? I have blocked that mess, whatever that is. What? Wow. Oh, we almost got him. He beat me that time. I gotta beat this guy? This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm in a tank. I'm in a tank. I'm in a tank. Look at this. Look at this. Cheap. What is this? What? What is my life right now? What? I can't. I can't do anything. I can't do nothing. Armor wind. Really? What? <laughs> Wow, what a delay. Not 
Finally! Pink, large, and in charge, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so we're back, and I am Boo. Uh, apparently, that tank just had it out for Super Saiyan Goku, so... I've never played with Boo, so... Are you just input reading everything I do? Let's go. Get off me. Steamroll you. This video is carrying out long enough. My body is tired. It's game. It is something serious. Ooh, I like booze. We could change up character. Hmm, got me on that one. something. Got him. All right. Whew. Man. All right, guys. I just wanted to showcase off a little bit of this game. Um, you can actually uh, just Google Hyper Dragon Ball Z. Um, like dra uh, Google Hyper Dragon Ball Z download. Uh, you can find the base game. Um, pretty easy to find. Uh, it will take up a pretty good chunk of memory in your game. Um, like I said, uh, I'm just going to back out right here. Um, it took up about, I don't know, a couple of gigs on mine. So, I mean, I know a couple of gigs of storage data nowadays ain't much or really ain't nothing. But uh, it's a really fun game. Like I said, it's technical as all get out. Uh, and it does get more difficult the further in you get. So, um... Who's this? A Kotex? Yeah, that's Kotex. I think. Not sure. But anyways. Uh, yeah, it is. But this was Hyper Dragon Ball Z. Uh, like I said, if you get the chance, I highly recommend you guys check it out. Download it. Put it on your PC and play it. Very fun game. Uh, reminds me, like I said, a lot of like the old Capcom fighters. Like, you know, stuff from the Alpha series or Marvel vs. series. Uh, like, you know, you got your Marvel vs. Street Fighter, Capcom, that an insanity level, it's on par with that, so, if you enjoy those types of game, your games, you're really gonna enjoy this, so, um, like I said, we were just messing around, this was just a goof-off video, I wanted to showcase this game, give the developers props, uh, I think it was, uh, Hyper Team Z that developed it, so, mad props to these guys, uh, they are actually still continuing, uh, working on this, uh, game, so, uh, mad props to them. Um, before I go, though, real quick, uh, I want to give a huge shout-out uh, to an old friend of mine, uh, Zach Hamblin, who has been showing a lot of support on my Facebook um, and showing support here on the channel. Uh, you can find me at Classic Gamer Bobby on Facebook because, uh, like I said, I know not everybody's on YouTube all the time. Um, so, you know, you can... Friend me on Facebook, and then that way you guys can get uh, instant access to my videos that I post. Um, 
If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you're enjoying the content I put out, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, don't forget uh, to click that little notification bell down at the bottom. That way you guys can get notified as to when I do post a new video. Um, and guys, I think that's all I got for you today for Retro Fight Night. Um, I enjoyed this game. I hope you guys check it out as well. And remember guys, until next time, keep on gaming. Game